Here is the new Dionysi Smart Jacket. It's a vest that's designed to be worn, uh, they say, under your existing uh, clothes. You can wear it under your existing clothes. I have it on the charger. There's a mini port, or actually a full-size USB port, back here. And uh, I've got it uh, connected back up to my computer here. Before you can use it, you have to go online and register this with Dionysi in order to be able to get it to recognize uh, that it is uh, armed and you can ride and it will deploy as it's supposed to. Uh, there are various color combinations that it goes through, but right now, for what we have going on, uh, that green flashing indicates that it is uh, set up and uh, it's fully charged. The, bat the battery is fully charged on it. And I'm going to take it out in the garage. You're going to go with me. Hey, we're going to go together. And I'm going to try it on and uh, show how it looks with some existing jackets that I have. So stand by. We're going to go on a little adventure together. Here is the connection that is set up to charge it. I'm going to pull that out comes at the back of the jacket and you get a little uh, beating going on <laughs> when you disconnect it and uh, this closes back up and there's a small zipper here that you do up from either side then to hold it in place so I'll do that off camera I don't have a spare hand here but you pull that zipper across and uh, that closes up the back of the vest. Let's try it on and see what it looks like as uh, a person would wear it. Here we are back at the man cave at uh, Whistle Vistas in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. I recently made a safety purchase, a not inconsequential one actually, and that was the Dionysi Smart Jacket. Uh, found out I could get a discount. If I had been a past customer or bought, purchased a motorcycle from my local dealer, Moto Forza, they give you a 10% discount on uh, retail items, merchandise items. I was in there, I saw the jacket, I'd read about it, and I was very intrigued, and I decided to give it a go, give it a buy. I just did a little video that I'll put after this introduction in the house where I showed how you plug it in and you plug it into your computer. You go online to the Dionysi website. You've got to navigate and find where the app is. It's actually an app you download to your computer. And uh, not the easiest to find, but I did find it with a little help. I actually uh, got some help from an uh, online source and uh, told me where to look for that. Hope that card doesn't go too loud for me. And um, downloaded it. They have to recognize it. You have to register it with them before it becomes possible for you to arm it, to set it out and take it on the road. Now what appealed to me about this is that it is not, there's no tether, and it is supposedly designed to go under or over other motorcycle clothing. And that means that uh, in, uh, previously there were uh, two ways to go. You either had a tether and a vest you wore over your clothing, or uh, you had from Dionysi and Alpine Stars uh, non-tethered alternatives, but they had to be matched with a jacket or a suit of their manufacturer, and that meant all of your other gear was obsolete. So for me, that was the big attraction about this, that I could, that I could use this with my existing gear. There's a caveat. The caveat is that it has to have room for expansion to be able to operate. And a lot of your leather jackets and things are actually fairly tight, so they're not going to work too well with it. Uh, I've not tried it on with a jacket. I've only just got it registered, only just got it powered up. A little flashing light tells you it's powered up. It's uh, not inconsequential in terms of weight. There is some weight with this, some heft. Uh, but uh, it is mesh, so hopefully here in our San Diego, our warm San Diego weather, it will breathe. Okay, let's try it on. Let's see how it works if we try it on. By the way, I 
hope that the uh, internal mic, the uh, internal mic with the GoPro 7 will work. Okay, we put it on just like we would a normal type vest. And then we get it set up. To arm it, we have to line up these two metal uh, connectors at the top of the vest. And it, when we zip it up and put those together, there it went. And it goes through a flashing sequence, goes to green, and uh, as I recall the manual, which by the way is, uh, <laughs> let me show you what size the manual is. This is the manual. To be fair, there's about eight languages in here. <laughs> so, uh, only around uh, this much of it is English and relevant to us. But it uh, goes to a steady blue, and that means it's gone through its awareness check, checked where it's at, and it's now armed, and you are ready to ride. I'm going to keep right on shooting here. So, uh, on you, it is, um, again, you know you've got something on. It's not particularly heavy, nor is it particularly lightweight. But um, it does feel comfortable enough. Now, I have checked. There's a caveat that goes with all this. I'm going to turn sideways here. Pretty heavy bit there. Uh, there's a caveat to all this, and that caveat says that you need, in uh, terms of good old US of A, I'll put the metric measurement down below, but in terms of the good old US of A, you need just under uh, two inches of expansion capability in order for it to have full room to deploy. I was also told that you can remove your back protector. If you have a back protector, they take up a lot of space in typical jackets and you can remove your back protector uh, to give you some extra expansion room and depending upon the size of the jacket, obviously if it's skin tight, if you're doing a, a Rossi or a GP thing and you're that tight that you can't move, it's, it's not meant to work under that. Uh, but that, I'm told, is if there is some room the clothing is also uh, equipped with, generally the uh, rider gear, is equipped with expansion joints and those will give enough so that there's deployment and you get that uh, airbag protection. Uh, how much that is? Two inches is actually quite a bit for a, given a, a typical motorcycle jacket, uh, but uh, taking out the back protector and chest protectors if you have them in might give you uh, might give you enough room. So uh, what I'm going to do now is try it with a couple of different jackets and see how it goes over them. I have some very I have a very tight leather jacket that I'm sure this would. <laughs> in fact, I can barely get into it anyway. But I've got some that are a little looser. So stand by. Let's see let's see how it works with, um, with a mesh jacket and a leather jacket. Here is a lightweight uh, mesh jacket from good old Cycle Gear. There is a back protector in this, but it's the standard uh, foam one. So I typically uh, use this just to uh, jet around in the neighborhood here. So let's see uh, what it's like to put this on with the vest over the top of it. By the way, yes, I know the tag is still on there. But, uh, hey, I was anxious to try this out and share it with all of you guys, so quick complaint. All right. Jacket goes on. You still have the blue light set. Um, hmm. Okay. First problem is uh, getting that waist cinched down. Okay. Uh, you can do this. This is this is doable. Taking out that uh, back protector would give me a bit more room. Uh, runs runs pretty tight across the waist here, so I'm not too sure if I could uh, lift this out just a little bit. No, that didn't do anything. 
but uh, runs pretty tight across the waist, but I do feel that there would be some expansion. Now I have the uh, liner on, it's not a quilted liner, it's just a standard nylon shell on under the mesh, and that would give me some millimeters, uh, maybe two, one, of uh, extra space. But it does fit under this, so okay. Um, I would say that um, you could use it. You could use it under this type of jacket. What do you say we try a leather jacket next? Let's let's see how that goes. And I'm going to go with a relatively tight leather jacket. I'm going to remove the back protector from that before I try it on. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> They're looking at me going like. What is that crazy guy doing in his garage running around with clothes? All right, so stand by. We're going to try the leather jacket thing. Okay, um, let's let this car go by. What perfect timing by me. Uh, okay, this is a perforated Alpine Stars leather jacket I'm going to try on. I've had this for about four years now. Worn it uh, quite a bit. Uh, Dying easy. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm using I'm using Al Alpine Stars, but I hope you don't mind so much. But I uh, wanted to try it out. I took the Alpine Stars Nucleon back protector out uh, of the jacket. This jacket fits relatively tightly, so it's going to be an interesting sort of a test. By the way, neighbors, neighbors. By the way, I have a 44-inch uh, chest. I'm massively devout. 44-inch chest. I'm uh, 5 feet 10, at least I used to be, uh, 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weigh about 185 pounds. I fluctuate there. It's a couple hours since lunch, so I'm, I'm down a bit. Uh, 185 pounds. I would typically wear a size 54 European or 44 American and uh, that would also translate into a large jacket, typically. So uh, this is going to be a little test. Let's watch how it goes. This, by the way, this is a 54. Now, this jacket is tight to put on. Um, that's not overly tight, but it is sort. It is uh, relatively tight, like a leather jacket should be, under the, the best of circumstances. Okay, it goes over. Can I get it tighter? Seems to be a lot of my issue is around the waist. Is that a comment? Um, by the way, my waist size is uh, 35 inches. You know, my tag is getting in the way here. Okay, it's on. <clears throat> All right, that's uh, much less comfortable, much less comfortable. Uh, that is uh, very tight, particularly up under the armpits. Uh, would I recommend this? Uh, well, nothing like getting out and riding for a couple of hours in a full tuck. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an issue in a uh, upright. You could do it. Is there enough room for it to expand underneath? I think that's kind of a questionable point. So I'm going to say uh, it, it's not going to fit all that well under your standard size jacket if it's sized to fit with uh, a normal type back protector. This is, uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this. Uh, I'd also worry, if you've seen these things expand, they go pow, with a more or less explosive expansion. And uh, I'd be a little worried that you might actually uh, damage yourself. Now you could try and wear this over the jacket, and that's what we're going to do next. Bear with me. <laughs> size to be fit. There's, uh, I think uh, most of you who are motorcycle riders know that uh, you really don't want to be riding around with a floppy, a floppy anything, but a floppy jacket. Okay, so um, jackets on. It would be a trifle uh, tighter with that back protector. Not bad. Let's try the Dionysi Power Vest over the top. Uh, I told you about my size and dimensions just around 5'10", 
185 pounds, 44 inch chest, beat your hearts out. Um, it may help to have somebody help you get into this. Um, and I did uh, purchase a medium vest. So let's see if this will go over the top. There is some stretchiness to it here. Okay, there is some stretchiness. Now let's remember we have to attach these two medic, uh, metal uh, devices to arm the jacket. There it goes. It's flashing. It's telling me that it's trying to arm itself. It recognizes that it's on. And it goes to steady blue. Okay. Uh, yes. I can wear this over this. This is this is tolerable. Actually, much more tolerable. This would be the preferred way to wear this over that leather jacket. So what have I learned? I've learned that oh, under mesh with uh, out of a back protector, given a reasonable size mesh, mesh is generally a little more uh, commodious. I'm going to put a little more space in it than a leather jacket that I can wear it, it's possible. And I've also learned that uh, I can put this over a uh, regular or tight-fitting leather vest. So um, that's my takeaway here. That is the way it works. I'll go a little sideways here so you can see. Now, I did mention that I live in San Diego. Uh, Wood. This is a um, perforated leather jacket. Would this be, this is another layer, there's no doubt about it. Would this be an intolerable layer? Uh, depending upon the day, no, but then I would probably be wearing the mesh anyway as opposed to leather. But uh, it would add a little more um, coverage from in terms of uh, wind trying to get through. So you're not going to get that cooling flow that you might with other jackets. The other thing I might say that is, is it is black and dark black. So sun's going to hit it and it's probably going to soak up the sun's rays. It's going to be warm. But uh, I can wear this over my um, regular leather jacket. Takeaways, takeaways. Uh, yes, this will be wearable. A. B, under a normal leather jacket, uh, I would hesitate to say that it would work. Out of one, yes, it would. It would also work outer of a mesh, but uh, inside a mesh, it will also work. And i uh, not sure what promotes the best airflow, whether you have this on the outside or the inside, I don't know. But it's armed and ready to go. A couple of uh, just finishing comments about this. Last uh, technical comments, number one is that it's armed, uh, I could get on, it'll, it'll change. You need to turn on a motorcycle and it will actually detect the motor running and it will uh, then be fully armed. I could not, for instance, fall over and have it uh, pick up. There are certain parameters, or excuse me, I could not fall over and have it uh, deploy. There are certain parameters that you have to meet in order to get it to deploy. And they're up there. They're up at uh, motorcycle crash type speeds. I'm not sure what uh, the technical information is in the booklet. I'm not sure what the impact uh, force has to be and uh, what that would translate into miles per hour hitting into an object. But it deploys very, very quickly, uh, microseconds or milliseconds, milliseconds. And uh, it is tuned so that if you fall down, if you're walking along and you just happen to fall, it's not going to deploy. Uh, it will uh, need a motorcycle or uh, roadside related accident to really deploy. It will deploy in the case of a rear end collision. If somebody hits you from the back, it'll deploy, it'll go off, which to me was... Uh, something that was fairly important. So it will deploy as long as those thresholds of uh, impact are met. Last thing to mention about this, uh, and again, talking about the comparisons between uh, tethered vests and uh, 
airbag jackets like these. Alpine Stars makes one similar, by the way. And that is uh, the tethered vests. You are deploying those. Those are inflated with a CO2 cartridge. And literally, you can deploy them or have them inflate in terms of their accident parameters multiple times, and all you have to do is replace the CO2 cartridge. These are designed to be one-time use if you get a, uh, uh, within limits. If you, if you get into an impact accident and this deploys, you cannot yourself get another cartridge or a cylinder and put it in uh, and go off again. You need to return it either to Dionysi or a uh, qualified dealer. Now my local dealer, uh, Moto Forza, from whom I bought this and gave me very kindly the discount, my local dealer is uh, working to be qualified. I believe they now, by now are, working to be qualified so that they can uh, recharge or put in the compressed gas canister then that will uh, make sure that this is ready to be used again after an incident. There are a finite number, just as there are for the uh, tethered vests, there's a finite number of times they can be deployed before they're all done. You have to do that again. Okay, I'm going to finish up. Uh, I purchased this for uh, their um, retail, my neighbor, their retail for $699. I got a 10% discount being a past uh, motorcycle customer at Moto Forza, which is uh, not inconsequential, very much appreciated. And um, I think that I will, uh, will I adapt this as my standard apparel to ride? Uh, remains to be seen. I'm going to take it out on the road and give it a try. I think if I'm going to do highway riding, yeah, I would, I would definitely consider using this. Uh, if I'm just scooting around in the hood, um, it's a lot to put on. It's a lot of things to get on uh, and putting on all the motorcycle gear you wear. Anyway, uh, usually does take a fair amount of time. But they do make it. They do make it uh, so that you can. Okay. <laughs> A lot of information packed into a uh, short uh, time period, and I'm not used to being a model. Should I strike a pose? <laughs> uh, I'm not used to being a model, but I hope uh, this is all useful for you. There are a lot of new safety uh, devices and safety things coming along for us, and I think we live in a great time. I wish I would be around to see the next 10 or 20 years. Uh, and I hope I am around to see the next 10 or 20 years. But there are a lot of things that are coming along to make our sport, uh, which is inherently thrilling, but not without its dangers, safer for those of us who want to keep riding as we go on. Okay, Dionysi Smart Jacket.